Hi guys, in this video we are going to look into IK handles and so they've got a pole vector constraint here um, so what this is going to be for is it's going to be for your legs so at the moment we've got our skeleton here but when I move um, my skeleton uh, the um, the legs kind of go with everything because they're below the hierarchy legs are the children of the, the um, of the hips here. So if I just quickly bind this, it will make it a little bit easier for us to see this. So let's bind the skin. Let's take this down to two. Okay, so now whenever I move um, this down, his feet go through the ground. So what the IK is going to do is it's going to look at his leg here. It's going to take this point here and it's going to take this point here and it's going to bend it about that point there. So it's going to maintain all of the proportions but it's going to allow us to keep our feet planted on the ground. So we need to be in rigging for this again. Um, it is under skeleton and then we've got create IK handle here. So I am going to click on this here. Now I need my um, my tool options, my tool settings to be enabled because we've got a, a single chain solver and a rotate plane solver. We're going to be using the rotate plane and what that's going to let us do is it's going to allow us to control the knee. So if you think about the the lamp uh, that we've animated previously where you could wiggle his um, sort of hinge in the middle, um, that th that's what he's got on him. He's got a rotate plane solver here. So I'm going to make sure that that is turned on. Um, so I'm now in this tool here. You can see my crosshair looks like a uh, uh, like a crosshair sort of thing rather than a cursor and um, I am going to click the top chain the top joint and then I'm going to click the end joint there and it's added this extra sort of part on here if I just have a look in my um, outliner I've got this IK handle here as well so this IK handle I can now move and you'll notice when I move it it rotate it moves in a kind of a, a different manner here so I'm moving it by grabbing the bottom of the foot the bottom of the handle there um, okay but at the moment it's just sort of rotating outwards randomly rather than how we want it to so what we need to do now uh, if I just get rid of this part here, I need to create a little control that I'm going to um, use to control which way the knee is facing. Um, I'm going to just create a locator for now, so create locator. Um, I am going to just quickly go to show and um, I'm going to turn polygons off just so I see my skeleton without anything else. I'm going to hold V and I'm going to move it. I'm going to move this part here to the knee joint. So it's snapped there perfectly and I'm just going to move it forwards. So now it's perfectly in line with that knee joint there. Okay, um, I can now um, constrain this to my IK handle. Um, so if we just bring the, the polygons back I can select my locator, then select my IK handle here and go to constrain pole vector. I'm going to go to the little options box. There's nothing really to check in here and then click add. Okay, so it's, it's done a little bit of rotation on here. We're not going to worry about that too much now. But now, wherever I move this control, my um, leg is going to face and point at that. So now if I grab that IK handle again and move it upwards, okay, I could now control the knee where it is facing. Okay, obviously I've got some skinning errors on this here that I would look at uh, fixing if I was to paint it properly, but I can now control this knee like this. Um, I can also now grab my hips and just move the hips down and you can see his 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 knee bends with it opposed to the other one that isn't okay now there's some stuff we can do to solve the the foot doing this um but we're not going to look at that in this video okay so in this video we've looked at rotate plane um ik handles